So what is AAV gene therapy? First, let's explore our genes, the body's blueprints. Genes are made up of specific pieces of our DNA. They provide the cells in our body with instructions for making the proteins that our bodies need to develop and function. Any change to the DNA in our genes can alter how our proteins are built and function. Changes to DNA can take many forms. Deletions, for example, result in missing instructions, while gene variants result in incorrect changes to the instructions. Any of these changes can affect how our bodies function. For example, spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, usually occurs when a person is missing both copies, one from each parent, of their SMN1 gene. Rarely, SMA can be due to a disease-causing variance in the SMN1 gene, resulting in a faulty gene. Gene therapy is a medical approach that may be used to correct these genetic changes. There are many different approaches to gene therapy, including, but not limited to, introducing a new or modified copy of a faulty or missing gene, turning genes on or off to avoid disease, and correcting the incorrect gene variant within a gene. This video will focus on gene therapy that introduces a new copy of a faulty or missing gene. This is known as gene replacement therapy. In the case of SMA, gene therapy can be used to replace the missing or faulty SMN1 gene. How is the working gene delivered? For any type of gene therapy to work, it needs to be delivered to a person's cells. Sometimes this is done in the person's body, in vivo, and other times this is done by extracting cells from the person, modifying them, and introducing them back to the body, ex vivo. In this video, we will focus on direct, in vivo delivery of a working gene via a specific type of adeno-associated virus, or AAV. AAV is a common delivery method, or vector, used for gene therapy. It can easily be modified to deliver genetic materials into human cells and is not known to cause human diseases. Scientists can use the natural ability of AAV to deliver genetic materials into human cells by replacing the naturally occurring viral DNA inside the AAV particle with the working gene to be delivered to the body cells. Furthermore, the shell that surrounds and protects the genetic material called the capsid, can be modified so that specific cells or tissues are targeted by the virus to receive the working gene. Think of it as a sophisticated viral hijack. The virus's ability to infect and insert DNA into human cells can be used to deliver the working gene to the proper cell types. AAV gene therapy may be given to a person systemically that is, to their whole body via the bloodstream, or more locally, through a more targeted delivery route. The decision of how to best deliver gene therapy is multifaceted and includes considerations such as where the working gene is needed by the cells of the body, how to best get the working gene to those cells, and how to best mitigate any potential immune response to the AAV particles. As of December 2023, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has approved five AAV gene therapies to treat diseases, including SMA. AAV gene therapy for use in humans is thoroughly tested in clinical studies for safety and effectiveness. This oftentimes lengthy process ensures the FDA has the data needed to evaluate if the risks of the therapy are acceptable while considering its potential benefits. The scientific field of gene therapy is rapidly evolving, and every day we are learning more about how vectors, like AAV, can best be utilized to maximize treatment effectiveness and minimize risks to patients. With these advances, we are hopeful that someday gene therapy may unlock the answers to preventing and treating many rare diseases.